Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. So we're cracking on with our requested videos and this one's a bit of a belter. I'm looking forward to it. It says, uh, hello Cap, Can now that we have JSO in DCS, can we intercept it like we could with in World War II with the V-1 bomber? So the V-1 bomber was a cruise missile, if you remember, and the spits and the hurricanes would fly up behind it and either shoot it with their guns or tip it with their wings. So that's what we're going to try. So uh, before we try the JSAL, which is a small, fast-moving target, we'll try a Tomahawk, which is a large, slower-moving target, much easier to find. Uh, so we'll give that a go first. So we're going to go to spectators. Watch our Ticonderoga. <clears throat> oh, they're going already, look. Oh, what, what? Massive, great 40-foot things. Wee, wee. Let's jump in our uh, F-15. It's going to be an F-15 because I, I'm just not a very good Hornet driver. Now, we've already tried intercepting these uh, missiles in another video, and we can indeed shoot them with our radar-guided missiles. Look at them all. Can you see them? Ha, 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 ha. Look at this. <laughs> We're just flying in between them. <laughs> wee. Let's take this one. No, let's take this one. Uh, we know that we can already shoot them with our radar-guided missiles. I think we can also use our sidewinders. In fact, I'm sure we can. I remember shooting them down with sidewinders. Because they've got a nice, big, juicy heat signature. Uh, but can you shoot them down with guns? Well, I've never been stupid enough to try. So I guess we're going to try now for the first time. I'm not sure what their speed is, so we're just going to get used to their speed. Okay, here comes one look. Just settle in behind him. Looks like they're about 500 IAS. Get some. Ooh, hits. Get some. Get some. Hits. It's not dying. It's not dying. Wagner. Hits. So it appears. Um, I'm 100% sure I haven't turned Immortal on, so it appears uh, that we just can't kill them. That's actually a surprise. I was pretty certain that we'd be able to kill these, so we're not quite sure what's going on there. You can see all the hits and stuff I've been getting. So it looks like that is not quite working properly at the moment. I'm certain I've not done anything silly that's going to uh, uh, stop it being killed. Okay, so unexpected, but, you know, accept it and get on with it. Next, I guess we'll try a, uh, a wing tip uh, to see if we can... Uh, do that. Let me just try and get as close as I can with the guns. Get some! Get some! Where's that gun barrel? Oh, hits! Definite hits there. Kaboomy. Look at that. <laughs> I like the new spark effects. That's pretty cool, right? Uh, I think I was wrong about the size of it. They're not 40 feet, are they? It looks like they're about 15 to 20 feet. But they're still pretty big units, you know? Ah, oh, stop firing. All right, let's try and tip in with our wing. This is going to be harder than it looks. All that formation practice finally coming in handy, look. Ah, it's, this is going to be so hard. Oh, wrong way! <laughs> you bloody son of a... Oh! I think we actually just got hit there. Did we get hit? Right, yeah, we haven't hit the group. We haven't hit the water, so it appears we have just been hit by another warhead ahead that we didn't see. So that was a bit weird. We must have set the proximity, but going completely beside it, we must have set the proximity fuse off and blown up. And because of that, unless we had, you know, a wing right at the front of our aircraft, I don't think it's going to be possible to wingtip them. 
So that's an interesting thing. Saying that, would they actually have a proximity fuse? Wow, look at all the bits of our aircraft. Wow, there's nothing left of me. Look at that. That's what happens when a, whatever it is, a thousand pounds of explosive goes off. Boomy! Super cap, no more. Okay, well, maybe we should give it a go. Another go, just in case. You know how I like to be thorough. On these important scientific excursions. Right, off you go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Missiles! Mother! Mother! Look at them all. It's so beautiful! <laughs> this is fun. If you're not doing this right now, then there's something wrong with you. Mother! Mother! Get some, you mother! Okay, settle down, Jimmy. Ah, why is it so hard? Why is it so hard? Just tell me that. And, 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 It went right through it. Ah! How to ensure that you piss wags off. Flying formation with a tomahawk. Mother! Mother! No, 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 there you are. Oh, has Cap got the best idea or what? Watch, watch this. Com, com, bit of com. Okay. Oh, 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 oh! No, that didn't quite go right. Come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, it's just... <laughs> oh, I set the warhead off. Uh, well, there you go. I think it's not a proximity warhead. I think it literally has to just push into my plane and then it gets blown up. I don't think you can wingtip that. Um, I think the wings just, as we saw, kind of kind of push through it. Uh, probably because it's not programmed to be wingtipped, I'd imagine. Um, that's all I've got to say on that. You can't gun them, can't wingtip them, can drive into them. So worst case scenario, you can kamikaze. Right, now for the main event. Can we do it to a JSAL standby? In a Dame Hornet. Pew, 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 pew. Ah, oh, pass out. Nope, shut up. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Giggity. Okay, T O O. E E fuse. And waypoint designated. Meow. Is everything. Wow! Ich bin einer Bomber. Look at that little baby go. Right. Wow, 800 knots. Okay. Let's try and catch her up now. Okay, up we go in the chase plane. Ta da! This time we've got some missiles, some infrared and radar guided missiles, so we can see if we can find it and get a lock on it, and if it emits any heat as well. I think it's going to be interesting to find out. Uh, right, so I guess first of all, we should try and find it. Oh, it looks right next to us. How convenient. At 46,000 uh, and 900 knots, we're at 1100 knots and 40 knots. We're our co altitude pretty much. We're a little faster, so. Brakes on. Ship, right. We're both basically gliding now. We are both now glide bombs. Ah, there I am. Hello, me. Right, down. Left roll slightly. Left roll. More left roll. And... 
po <laughs> get some <laughs> that was funny oh that's gonna make it easier no it's maybe not okay stop <gasps> could that be it oh no it's a boat damn how do you get so low so quick chase owl I've locked something, I've locked something! What is it? Yes! I've locked the J-Cell! <laughs> Completely by fluke. Hello! I see you, little monkey. Right, uh, this is going to be hard. Come back. I come for you, yes? Right. Catching him up. So the first question is, can you shoot it down with radiation-guarded missiles? Yes, I can get a lock on it, so I can shoot it down with radiation-guarded missiles. Brilliant. Next thing is, can I shoot it down with a sidewinder? So I'm going to have to get a little bit closer and a little bit more steady. You know, it doesn't have a motor on it, but it does create air friction, so it may create some IR contrast. Let's go and find out. It's so small! Yes! You can! Interesting, so the IR uh, signature is modelled on it, and like I said, I mean, it's, there's no engine, but that's creating a bucket load of IR contrast with its um, with its air friction, so you can get a lock on it with Lay Sidewinder. So next, can you gun it and can you wing it? So I suppose we have to try winging first, which is going to be pretty ugly, but there you go. I can see this being difficult. She's moving about. I can feel her moving about, so she's not steady like the... Um, like the tomahawks were. <laughs> Hello, Jay Sal. Jay Sal. You're just a little Jay Sal. You're just a little mm -mm. Jay Sal. <laughs> cool, right? Haha, <laughs> dub is cool! <laughs> right. <laughs> I got a little bit close there. I didn't mean to get so close. <laughs> Silly cap, always getting too excited. Okay, Mr. J Cell. Let's see what we can do with you, eh? Eh? Um, pause. Just like refueling with an F-15, this is. Uh, but you can't see where it's going. You've just got to believe in God. Mother! Mother! Ah. Thump! Pretty sure we got him. I don't think we can win to it. We can tip him. So the next is guns, guns, guns. Oh, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. I know you want to do it. j Cell, come back. No, j Cell. God damn it. j Cell. j Cell. Gotcha. <laughs> come back, monkey. I just want to be your friend. Prepare to get some. Get some. Get some. Why won't you die? I think we've pretty answered that. You know you cannot shoot it down with guns. I don't think we're going to get another chant. Oh, I killed it. I killed it. It's dead. Correction. You can kill it with guns. Um, uh, not much else to say with that. So you can't wing tip it. We're pretty sure we can't wing tip it. Can kill it with guns. Can't wing tip a tomahawk. Can not kill a tomahawk with guns. Can kill both of them with IR and radar guided missiles. That is literally as thoroughly as we can take that. There's nothing more I can do except a Grim Reaper's finale. Oh, 
with non-political correct attire, so I just won't say anything. Prepare to get some baddies! Prepare to get... No, that's the wrong target! No, it... Yes, it is. Ooh. Going around again. I've got to have a big boss kill after that boss of a video. Prepare to get some baddie boss. Can you kill a hardened bunker with yourself and an M61? Stand by for science. No, you can't. Right, I hope um, you enjoyed that valuable scientific research and I'll see you later.